Perhaps the largest collection of signed Nelson Mandela memorabilia, including photos, books and documents, among other items, go under the hammer tonight. And these rare pieces, which date from between 1964 and 2010, are valued at around 1.2 million rand. ENCA's Nontobeko Sibisi is at the auction, taking place at Stephen Wells and Company. She joins us now. Uh, Nontobeko, these rare mementos spanning almost five decades, going under the, uh, under the hammer tonight. Are people excited about what's to unfold? Well, Iman, first thing first, I can definitely tell you this much. It's definitely an auction of a different kind. I mean, Iman, it's not every day that you find 79 signed memorabilia, personally signed by Nelson Mandela himself, of course. And if you're lucky, there are also some international ce celebrities that are there. We're looking at 79 uh, with the books, photographs, documentation, everything that you could practically think of all under one roof. But the catch there, of course, Iman, is that it can only go to one person and one person only. And we have to see later on tonight if they're going to be able to forfeit that 800,000 rand, between 800,000 rand and 1.2 million rand. But I won't say much. I'll just leave the best to the expert. I've got the CEO of Stefan Vals and Co. with me, who's going to just give us a bit of insight of how long does it even take to collect so much memorabilia. Good evening, Alan. Good evening. I understand it's taken 14 years. Indeed. How do you even begin collecting or even owning such a collection? Well, like all collecting, it starts slowly, one item at a time. So it's a piece here, a piece there, you buy from a dealer here, you buy an auction over there, and slowly, slowly you accumulate an enormous amount of items as we have over here. And I think what happens is, over a while, you, people get to know you. People get to know that you are collecting a certain item, and that's the interest and the fun of collecting, and then people start offering you items. Mm -hmm. And in the end we have, of course, a fantastic collection over here with almost 80 items worth between, who knows, maybe it's priceless. Mm. Uh, like you're saying, you do have some priceless pieces there. But uh, tell me this much, how, how do you even begin? Um, how do you see some of the collectors that are here? I understand there's also going to be a live auction later on today, which pretty much means that some of the competition here is going to be tough. Indeed, indeed. Well, you know, there's more than one Nelson Mandela memorabilia collector. Our sister company at the South African Gold Coin Exchange and Scorn Shops, we've been selling these coins and medallions for the last 10 years. So literally there are hundreds of people, thousands of people out there who collect Mandela memorabilia. So over the years, people want a piece of Mandela. You know, it's not just an ordinary person. It's not a sportsman. This is an icon. This is not even a South African icon. It's an international icon. And I think everybody wants a piece of Nelson Mandela. And what are some of these significant pieces? We understand it's dating back from 1964 even. Well, to me, the most interesting piece is the photograph of Nelson Mandela with his Springbok jersey and his cap, shaking hands with Francois Pena in 1995. That was the year that we won the World Cup Rugby. That was the year when we all came together as a nation. That, in fact, was a turning point. You could almost argue that that was more important than 1994, mm -hmm. because that was the time when the whole nation came together. And for me, that touches a chord with me. Everybody came together as one, and we won. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's been open since Friday. What has been some of the public response and some of the viewings that have been here? Well, we've had an enormous amount of response. But to me, the most interesting thing is the media have been extremely interested. We've had approximately 10 TV stations from Spain to Mexico. Um, I'm not sure if you're allowed to advertise your competition, but uh, enough said. But f from around the world, TV stations have been coming along and interviewing us, finding out what this is all about. Okay, thank you very much. That's Erling Dombey, CEO of Stefan Vals and Co. Well, Iman, you've heard it all for yourself. We're talking about 79 signed signature memorabilia. So we're just going to have to wait about less than an hour's time to see who exactly is going to take home, home some of those signature pieces. Between 800,000 Rand and 1.2 million, we'll just have to wait and see. It's about 45 minutes' time, and we'll get to see who the lucky bidder is. Certainly for one for the high rollers, non Tobacco. We'll have more from you at around 8.30. Reporter non Tobacco, CBC Live for us from uh, the auctioneers.